Hi there, welcome back to another episode of Tech Explained for Lens Day Wednesday. Uh, this episode's about uh, lens coatings. Now, you might have heard this before because some of our entry level or kit lenses may not necessarily have coatings on the elements to improve uh, optical performance. You might not have heard of what coatings essentially are. And what, what it essentially is in a nutshell, um, when we grind the lens elements, whether it's done by hand, whether it's done by machine, the glass itself often needs some sort of protection on it. And we, we developed a whole bunch of different coatings. One of the most common coatings we have on pretty much every single one of our lenses from the entry level uh, ultrasonic, from our entry level B range lenses is called spectra coating. And spectra coating is normally done on the outer elements as well as internal elements to reduce the amount of reflections on internal glass. So sometimes light can pass through pieces of glass, hit another element, bounce off and come and, and, and cause ghosting. Now this is often something that happens under low light when you're shooting into a bright source of light in a dark room at night, for example, you might have one bright source of light from a candle or a torch or whatever it is, and the light comes through to the sensor, but because it's bounced off a couple of different elements in the lens itself, you now have a little ghost of that same po point of light somewhere else. Spectra coatings reduce that kind of dramatically and they work pretty damn well and they're available on almost every single ultrasonic lens throughout the entire range. We also have a couple of other interesting coatings. One of the most uh, radical ones was something called sub wavelength coating. It was pioneered for the first time on a lens called the 24mm 1.4 L series Mark II. And what that essentially does, that reduces flare in an enormous amount. On wide angle lenses, often when shooting into bright sources of light, the amount of reflection, the amount of flare on that front element is actually kind of high. And we developed the sub wavelength coating on the interior element of those wide angle lenses in order to reduce the amount of light bounce around inside. And again, to reduce flare. If you see SWC or if you hear about sub wavelength coating on your lens, know that you can shoot into bright sources of light and not worry too much about it because the SWC is taking care of a lot of that flare. We also have uh, a new thing called air sphere coating. Air sphere coating was pioneered for the first time on the 100 to 400 millimeter uh, Mark II lens back in 2014. Uh, what an incredible piece of glass. The Mark I was on the lineup for about 18 years. The Mark II was long anticipated. And one of the things we noticed when light tra travels through uh, various elements, especially when it gets to the focusing elements, can tend to bend and refract. The air sphere coating was put on a, some of the key focusing elements in the 100 to 400 millimeter lens in order to reduce the amount of light reflecting on those internal elements, but also to increase the transmission through the glass. So the overall optical quality is improved. And this is something where we, we've gone throughout a variety of different technologies and understanding that might not just be glass that can make a difference to the optical performance, but something that's a coating, whether it's a chemical, whether it's a, a different type of texture, whether it's a different type of material, a coating can actually make a hell of a difference to the optical performance. The final coating is something called fluorine. Fluorine we introduced in our L-series lenses uh, around about eight, nine years ago. And fluorine coatings essentially on external elements uh, pretty much only, and they were designed specifically to reduce uh, dust, fingerprints, oil residue, that kind of story. And fluorine is absolutely astonishing and it works really, really, really well. When you look at fine dust that a simple blow can actually get rid of quite a lot of dust. And uh, if you do happen to get a fingerprint on there, uh, fluorine coating, you will actually be able to see immediately you don't get it. I'm not gonna chance it, even though I've got a service department, but to all intents and purposes, the later L-series lenses released after 2013 or so, uh, 2012, um, they all came with fluorine coatings on the front and the back elements specifically to protect against things like fingerprints. And I've seen tests where people have written on them with a permanent marker and the fluorine coating, it doesn't actually show. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it and don't try this at home, but it's one of the tests that we put our lenses through. Uh, that's it for coatings. That should be all you really need to know. Thanks for watching. <laughs>